Hello everyone, this is the Prussian Prince. Uh, we're in our total war in the video. This time I'm playing as Germanicus with one Eagle Cohort as General and two Palatini. Let's go. Well, obviously. Uh, my General I'm gonna keep behind, whereas my Palatini I'm gonna send towards the... somewhere. But yeah, my General I need to keep him behind because I don't want to lose vengeance on my units. Might as well activate Heavy Infantry Charge here to get to place as quickly as possible as well just uh mm, i cannot go here without any missile support because i might get owned by thurios or some other crazy stuff there like gladiators so i'm not gonna go there instead i'm gonna go up here again this means that i'm gonna leave this side which is bad but i mean there's we don't have any missiles there so that's really bad So yeah, I'm gonna have to send my units here to support best electrical general. Interestingly enough, he still doesn't have like maxed out infantry charge and such, but oh well. So here I'm gonna keep my eagle cohort behind. Keep going up my infantry dudes. Palatini. Heavy infantry charge, oh yeah. Large onagers. Wow, yeah, look at that. Yeah, I've seen them before, but just look at how grand they look. This is beautiful. They're just so beautiful. <laughs> it looks like there's gonna be a fight here with Proven Warriors. Let's see how Palatini do against Proven Warriors. My charge in there. Okay. Well, actually, I can send my unit over here, right? Gonna be a nice rear charge on top of this guy. Now I'm just gonna send my heavy infantry up here. I guess I should have actually sent my general, but yeah, I'm getting a lot of kills here. It's very nice. My vengeance is helping out. Ooh, we actually had activated scout, which is terrible for him in melee, but oh well. I'm gonna try and get up there as soon as possible. But again, I'm killing this guy very, very fast. Just look at these guys go down. What's the CEO's guy doing here? I don't understand. Got my charge going. Okay, I gotta get up here as soon as I can, though. Ooh, and I'm gonna start routing soon, but I'm still killing a crap ton of them. Okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back, because I've lost my units up there, but... Got a lot of points for it, though. And I still have th one, my general still alive. And that's the most important thing, but as you can see, it looks like our team is not doing so well here. However, yeah, it's because they're missiles, probably, from what I can tell. Hmm. Possibly that. Anyway, I'm just gonna continue running back because I don't want to get caught here. I mean, this solo eagle cohort is just going to die against, like, their hordes of infantry units that they have up there. Ah, uh, he's using quick march. Okay, yeah, I just gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> that's all I gotta do gonna kick, set my unit up here oh, this is really risky though mm. and again this unit like it's gonna get shot from there most likely but some really nice shots over here mm. they'd get a lot of points on my palatini though this is a uh, very very nice I'm glad i did uh, but eagle cohorts are gonna be here just uh, look at that amazing vanguard uh Shield though, doesn't this just look amazing? Just look at it, so nice, so 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 nice. Yeah, just look at that. Those shields. One of our units is 
just waiting for the enemy to appear at the moment. But yeah, they're not really appearing at the moment at all. Uh, they do have some Rodian Slingers over here though, which, as you can see, goodbye Rodian Slingers getting destroyed by Sarmerians. Sarmerians pretty strong though. There's smoke here, which the artillery is firing, I believe. Yes. Which is actually a bad idea. You don't want to fire accurate smoke against uh, light targets such as Rodians, because they don't really have a lot of armor, so I don't think the accurate smoke is really helping. So that's a mistake. Was he could just be targeting this unit? Did you do you see this? Look at the the HP of this unit. How did the HP of this unit get so low? Did it get charged or something and no unit died? This is insane. Well, I mean, it's still 59 left, but what is this? What is this? What's this? What are these guys doing, guys? Hello, guys. Living? You dead? Are you still here? Yeah, they're still here. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? Oh, this guy's dead. This guy's dead, but he's still moving. Oh, he's still moving. Look, he's over here. Where are you gonna stop, mate? When are you gonna stop? Look, he's still going. He's still going. He's still moving across. Come on, man. Oh, are these units gonna stop him? No, he's still going through. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, I wanted. God. Oh, Wrath of Mars, turn around. Oh, I'm gonna take massive damage. Shame I don't have Oath of Perseverance at the moment, though. But the fight here is gonna be massive. Come on, start killing, guys. Out of morale. Keep killing so we get more morale. Yes, keep killing them. But I'm dying fast. Nope, the morale is gone. And now they have stopped firing. This unit has just barely gotten anything done. There was nothing supporting me here. Like, I was back here and then... Nobody had troops around. But yeah, we've definitely lost this one, I guess. I can say. Go Galadrim! This unit has recovered, but for no reason. So it looks like on my commander I didn't really get much done with him. He's gonna be back though, but hey. Looks like I did probably get some decapping points. No, I did not. Did I? Nope, no decapping points at the end of the day. Much sadness. But yeah, they have a huge advantage over us in terms of man count. And points wise. So this game is gonna be a rough for us to win. Ooh, the Caltrops are here! Did these guys literally place the Caltrops, Caltrops over there? Looks like they did. Wow, wow. And now these guys are running over the Caltrops and just dying. Well done. Well done, mate. <laughs> But yeah, as long as we can't kill these range units, we can't win. And we're losing our artillery, which, as you may know, what that means is that gives them a lot of points, the enemy, that is. But can still do something. This unit is hanging in here like a boss. With that lockdown as well. Still, these guys are alive, but hopefully for not much longer. Well... There's this unit to target them, I guess, which is gonna target them now, but over here, the other side, you can see, I don't know what these legionaries are doing, because they're getting recharged right now. 
So not sure what uh, Skanderberg is doing. He's actually gonna get routed. Oh, and now this unit is gone for free. So all of a sudden it's not looking as bad as you would think. I mean, it's definitely still in their favor, but uh, if we send our units back and if we get these two Cimmerians, we may be able to win this actually. And we decapped again, which is great. Still have units here. This armor legionary doing very well against the legionary here, but now it's gonna get flanked. So, and it's still not looking great for us. But if we can push these guys, well, uh, well this the spike unit does have to die. Ho oh, ho! Nice Bila gets rid of it. Now Cola overdose. Can he actually get on to the artillery? It looks like it. And once he gets onto the artillery. He can start pounding the, hopefully the cab first. Once the cab is dead and then the missiles are dead, nothing to get to the artillery basically. And we have our own Cimmerians shooting into the blob. There are four minutes left though. I mean, as you can see though, it's kind of looking better and better for us. Uh, compared to how it was before, the difference is not that big. And now Color Overdose is doing his best. Shoot, oh, Galadrim is here. He's taking casualties though, and he's not reacting. He needs to do something. There we go. Activates uh, that ability, which now helps him a lot. Now we need to kill those guys. Oh, some nice arty shots though. Oh, but no, artillery now is gonna get caught. And uh, if artillery was alive at this point, and there was not this unit, I mean, I'd say that we would have definitely won this game. But oh, right now, ooh, very nice charge into a Karis here. I was saying Galadrim is now going to get so many kills. I don't know what this unit is doing here, but it's doing something. Oh, this unit, they, he should be targeting the Archer unit right now because he has time because it's not routed. But I guess if he runs away, yeah, because eventually this unit's going to come back too. Now we have this unit here. Oh, very nice turnaround by Computer B against Ajad. Now, ooh. Yeah, he's doing fairly decently here, and we still have Galadrim here, who's gonna go for a rear charge. It's still not looking that good, but with this rear charge, if this unit actually gets in there, it would be great. Looks like it did charge in and get some kills here. Now, in this blob, this blob is an insane blob. Oh, the shield bash, though, from this unit is just gonna be massive. And now, Akaris is here, and yeah, we've lost all hope, but this really came down to the wire this game, I must say. As you can see here, yeah, but I wasn't able to do too much with my general, with my two Palatini I did, but my general I was around here hope, hoping that, okay, I'd be fa facing that the, just that single unit here with that cab unit, then I'd go engage him around here. That wasn't the case because there was a sword unit here, and once I saw it, I was like, uh oh, well, I'm done. And that's how it was, but this was a really, really close game though. Quite enjoyable to watch. Still, we have this uh, artillery unit, but Karis has gotten a lot of points for them, though. Must say so. Ooh, yeah. And it doesn't have so many points, though. But yeah, like these are our last units here. They're just gonna go down at some point. Oh, and the shield bash just destroys them. Still this eagle cohort left, not for long though, another shield bash, it's gonna take them down. Same with this unit. Akaris is coming into the fray now, as well, with his two Cimmerian heavy archers. He's gonna go around and yeah, as you can see. Yeah, he's gonna get some camping points. Finally gonna lose this foot companion soon. Tekraban has done so much work. I mean, just look at how beastly it is. All the misses, though. It's pretty insane. Now, lockdown also activated, but shield bash, no miss. Now, here comes a rear charge, which is gonna end the, the day here for this uh, foot companion. Jeez, took so long to deal with, though. <laughs> This foot companion has done so much work as you can see here. 
actually routed the uh, sacred band, but now it's gonna die to the legionary. Or is it though? Look, the legionary is dying, but we actually. <laughs> the game ended because of time and not because of the unit dying. That is. That is just craziness. Yeah, it's just crazy. Let's look at the stats though. I'm sure I got a lot of XP because, hey, it's uh, double XP day. Let's see. So, yeah, those are the results. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. Share the video. See you next time.